inspiration for the album is taken from the Bible, obviously, um, the story about the woman uh, who had the alabaster box and she came and she anointed Jesus um, with that precious oil, expensive oil. Um, the Passion Translation calls it a lavish gesture of devotion and that's where the inspiration for lavish worship comes from. It's a it's an album that is, you know, just about, you know, just experiencing God that we've like in a way that we've never experienced him before. Um, it's about us lavishly pouring out our worship um, at his feet. It's about us um, showering God with our absolute best in worship, you know, giving of ourselves wholeheartedly. been preparing for this for months now. Um, it's something that we've, you know, we've spoken about and we said we wanted to do. Um, it's taken so much, you know, out of us to actually get to this point and it's just such a blessing, you know, to be able to witness what God is doing, you know, currently in our nation, you know. And I feel like it really is um, time for revival and, and it, uh, it, it's going it, to be an explosive, I don't know what to call it, you know, just an, an outpouring, an explosive outpouring of the presence of God, you know, uh, upon all flesh, you know, and that's that's what we, we've been praying for and that's what we we keep believing God to do, you know, in our midst, in our continent, you know, as Africa and our nation of South Africa, with everything that's going on, you know, and I think that's probably what was in my heart when I even began speaking about doing this um, launch was because I wanted, I, I was sensing in my spirit that God really wants to pour out His Spirit, you know, um, upon our nation and release a, 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 I don't know, like a, like a, a release like a, a great move, you know, of, of God and, 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 you know, so that people can experience Him in, in, in a different way, you know. Would you feel us again? We're dead. Well, first and foremost, in giving thanks, we have to start with thanks is due. Can I get an amen? <laughs> <laughs> and um, that is to God Almighty, man. You know, um, you know. Sometimes when He gives us visions and dreams, you're like, "What? This is going to happen." Um, but somehow, He just, He's just every single time He shows us Himself strong. Every single time, against all odds, God just shows up in the nick of time and He just makes all things beautiful in His time and I'm just grateful. A big thank first and foremost, glory and honor to God who has, who is the one who sustains us and who's the one, you know, who covers us and has graced us for this work. Um, secondly, a big thank you to my husband who, no matter how crazy or insane my dream is he's always like yes okay let's do it let's do it you know and i'm just really grateful to have him in my corner always i can always count on his on his voice i can always count on him um backing me up a hundred not even a hundred percent like sometimes i feel like he gives me like a, a million percent if there even is and i'm just really grateful to god for that um Thank you to my family. Um, I'm surrounded, you know, God truly blessed me with a wonderful family. And I thank God for family. You know, I always say that family is everything. And indeed, every single time, my family just shows up. And when I say family, I mean my blood family and also the family that I work with, which is Coco Records. Um, you know, ish, Coco Records, now we've been through some stuff. <laughs> we've been through you know and um, thank you for hanging in faith with me thank you for believing in me um, no matter how how weird i get sometimes with my dreams but coco records never says i ain't getting doors or this is not gonna happen but coco records is always like okay hey hey how are we gonna get this done you know but at the end of the day they're always so so supportive and I know that they always have my best interests at heart, and I'm just really grateful. Thank you, Coco Records team. Thank you to Tom Tembu, and uh, especially to Tom Tembu, 
and Andy Swa, who who is my heartbeat. I will say Andy Swa is my heartbeat, and I'm just so grateful. Thank you so much to the amazing people. Thank you to the band. How am I? Where would I be without my incredible band? Um, a big thank you to Pastor Nathaniel, who, when I first um, asked him to come to South Africa, he didn't even think about it. He said, yes, just give me a date. <laughs> and I was so excited. He's been a brother, he's a friend, incredibly, um, you know, an anointed man of God, you know, told, blessed and chosen, you know, um, and he, it's just such a blessing to, to witness what God is doing in his life and through him.